As we get closer and closer to that winter weather, we're taking a look at what the city's road crews are doing to prepare our roads and highways. Michael Sandlin spoke to the commissioner of Toledo streets, bridges and harbor earlier today. Michael, what's the biggest concern for them going into tonight and tomorrow? Well, Dan, Streets, Bridges and Harbor director Jeremy Michael Isaac says they're out salting the roads right now, but with rain predicted tonight, he's worried much of that brine will wash away, which could lead to some very dangerously icy conditions tomorrow, but his team will be working all through the storm to keep things as under control as they can. Anything that we don't get treated ahead of time is going to freeze over and create slick spots. Michael Isaac predicts conditions through the night will prove to be a challenge for anyone on the road during tomorrow's early morning hours, which is why it's all hands on deck for their crews. So right now we're, we've started our 12 hour shifts. We're planning on doing a shift change later tonight at midnight. Uh, we'll stay on shifts until we take care of everything that needs to be take, taken care of on the roadways. While the expected rain will delay how quickly they can respond, Michael Isaac says as soon as it switches to snow, they'll get right to work. 80 people per shift will be sorting through the hazardous conditions, including plow driver Terrence Daniels. He says when he's on the road, the biggest danger doesn't come from the weather, but rather the public. Please be cautious. Please be mindful. Please, uh, please pay attention to your surroundings and please give us the space that we need. And this year you might notice a few extra plows on the road. During last season's storms, residential streets often took longer to be plowed. Michael Isaac says over the course of the year, they've invested in more smaller vehicles to help tackle that issue. But now having a lot of these vehicles in, it, in our toolbox, we'll be able to get to them a lot sooner. Well, he says holiday travel will likely be impacted no matter what in the coming days. Michael Isaac says they expect to make significant progress in the next few days, starting with the most traveled streets. We should be able to have those pretty well cleared up and able to travel on with, within a day or two. However, Michael Isaac says school zones, hospitals, and other areas off of those main roads will take longer because the smaller vehicles don't have salting devices. They intend to work all through the weekend, though, even on Christmas Day, to clear all the streets as quickly as possible. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin of UTOL 11.